Want to learn how to create your own contact form for your HTML website to offer direct user communication? Well, that's what we'll be exploring on today's episode of Code Entropy. As always, we want to start by opening up VS Code and a new Chrome tab. Next, we can click on our project, which mine is called Contact. And inside of this project, we want to have an index.html and a styles.css both of which are right now empty. Next, if you haven't done so already, download the extension Open in Browser. This extension allows you to open it up in a new Chrome tab. Next, we can go back to our project and use the exclamation mark shortcut to generate some code. And if we save this and right click and click Open in Default Browser, this will allow us to open up our project in a new Chrome tab. Our next step is to change what we have in index.html. We can start by changing the name from document to contact form. Next, we want to link our index.html with our styles.css. We can do this by adding an align link rel equals stylesheet and set the href to be equal to dot slash styles.css and close this. Inside of our body, we want to first add the header that says contact form. And then after that, we're going to have input fields for the first name, last name, email, and also a place where the user can type in the message. So we'll add in input type equals text. And the name for this one will be first. And we'll set the placeholder to be equal to first name. Also, this part is optional, but if you want to turn off autocomplete, you can do autocomplete equals off and set this field to be required. We can copy this line and in the next line we can paste it and change this from first to last and set the placeholder to last name. Everything else will stay the same. In the next line we can copy this over again, but instead of the type being text we can set the type to email as well as the name to email and set the placeholder to be email address. This last type where we're gonna type in our message will not be an input field, but it will be a text area. And then we can set this text area to have five rows. So say row, rows equals five, and then set the columns to be 60. We're also gonna set this name to be message, and the placeholder will be enter text. We'll set the autocomplete to be off, and make this field required as well. Now that we've done this, we can also add in a button. So the button will have a type of submit. And once we've created the button, we can type in send message. And if we save this and refresh our Chrome tab, we will see all the things that we need in this contact form. Although right now, this contact form doesn't look optimal and we need to change the styling, that's what we can work on next. So in styles.css, we can first add in the star and whatever we put in the star will change throughout the entire screen. So we can change the background color to be hashtag 060616. And then next, we also wanna change the header. We'll make the color of the header white. Next, we'll add in padding top of 10px, a lot of space in there, and then we'll change the text align to center because we want the header to be centered. We'll change the font size to be 60px, and the font family, this really depends on whatever you want to choose, but I like to use the Apple font because I'm on Mac. Next, we can change the input fields as well. We'll add a background color of white to the input fields and a width of 70%. So it changes depending on how big your screen is. And then we'll also add a margin left of 12% and a font size of 20px. We'll change the padding to be 16px, 16px, and add a border radius of 10. The border color will be black, and we'll add a margin bottom for each of the input fields so it's 20 pixels. Next, we want to also change what the text area looks like. So we'll add in text area. And inside of this, we want the background color to be white. We'll also make the width of this 
we'll add in the margin left of 12% of font size of 20px, padding 16, 16, border radius of 10px, and a border color of black. And then this one, it'll be slightly different because we'll have a margin bottom of 25px. And the font family, you want to have consistency between all of the input text, so I'll make the font family the same. Next, we want to have a focus within for our input field. Focus within. And we'll have the these two be together. And inside of the input focus within, we'll have an outline of none, a border color of hashtag 5BD183, and then a border width of 3px. And then we also want to have a focus within for our text area, so we can copy this and change it to text area. And inside of this, we'll just have the same outline as none, border color as this, and the border width of three as well. And then next, we want to add in our button and what our button will look like when we hover over it. So in button, we'll have a background color of hashtag 5BD183, which we already used, a border radius of 20px, a border color of black, Font size of 22px, padding, we want to have 10 and 18. Then we'll have the text align inside of the button to be centered as well. We want the display to be flex and the margin to have auto. Next, when we hover over this button, we'll have a button hover. And we'll change the opacity of the button so users know when they're hovering over it. And we also want to change the cursor to be a pointer so it looks optimal. Now when we save this, the entire style of our website will change. So let's go ahead and save this and refresh. And there we go. We have our entire contact form looking exactly like how we want it to. But right now, when we click on send message, it won't really do anything. So that's what we're going to work on next. To link our HTML website with our email, we're going to use another website called formsfree.io. If you don't have an account with this website, click on the Get Started button. However, since I already have an account, I'm going to click on Sign In. Once you're signed into this website, you will see this page where you can click on the plus button to create a new project. So I'm going to type in the project name as Contact and click Create Project. Then you can click on another plus button to type in contact form or whatever form name you want. I'm going to go ahead and create this form. Once you create it, you should get this URL and this should already be linked with your email. So you can go ahead and click copy on the URL and go back to your code. Inside of the code, you want to create a form header and type in form action equals and inside of these quotes, paste in the URL and then type in method equals and in the quotes in all caps write post. Then we want to encapsulate everything that we wrote before inside of the body in this form header. So we can go ahead and do that and tab this over. So now once we save this and refresh our contact form we can go ahead and type in the information. So I'll type in code entropy and just to make sure everything's working, it'll say, please fill out this field when I don't do anything. And I can type in my email, code entropybusiness at gmail.com, and type in hello there. Now, if I go ahead and click send message, it will give me this screen that says, thanks, the form was submitted successfully, and go back to the website. In my mail, we can see that I have received an email notification from Formspree stating that there is a new submission from contact form and includes the fields that we stored previously in our code, such as first, last, email, and our message that says hello there. This contact form is versatile and very easy to use if you want to get user feedback or direct messages from your HTML and CSS website. 